What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Hey, we've got two more boxes from the wizarding world. Do you nerd? Hey, nerdlings. It's Jazz with Nerdy Blazing and Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, Wizarding World and Loot Crate is trying their hardest to get caught up, so they sent another two boxes out around the same time, so let's jump right into them. First box! Boom! Right off the bat, I noticed some Fred and George action Wizard on the front. Wizard Wheezes. Could be a good one. This is a Skyving Snack Box. Skyving Snack Boxes. Sweets that make you ill. Get you out of class whenever you like. Obtain hours of pleasure from unprofitable boredom. For There's your official letter from Hogwarts. All right, this one is Magical Mischief. Get into trouble with the curious creatures and brilliant beasts of the wizarding world inside the Magical Mischief. What are you guys doing? Yay, yeah, It's jiggly. Uh, careful, there might be something in there that you're making very angry. We have Cornish Pixie Confetti. <laughs> and it literally is. It's little tiny. Don't, don't, don't open it. Ooh, it's gonna get look everywhere. At look oh. at the little Cornish pixies. How adorable is that? Immobilis! That's how you put them back in the box. That is super cute. I like it. What magical creature do you think we got going on? Uh, let's go with uh, something that flies. I, I'm trying to think of some kind of really mischievous magical creature because it wouldn't be another pixie. Have you gotten a Niffler yet? I don't think we've gotten a Niffler button. Oh, <gasps> it's a Niffler button! I love Nifflers! <laughs> Niffler's my favorite! Oh my gosh, I love the button! <laughs> That is pretty cute. That's a very round Niffler, too. He's loaded, He's loaded with down. gold and treasures. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I already know what this is. So we've got the Monster Book of Monsters. <laughs> Sorry, I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah, I forgot you stroked the spine. There you go. Thank Should you. Should be good now. Okay. It's just like a little thing it's not really a coin purse it's more of just kind of a you know kind of put whatever in there but it's it's still adorably cute it's kind of fuzzy you got little teeth on it my only complaint about this is it seems very knockoffy actually i was thinking the same thing i mean it's cute in but... regards that i i don't have a problem with like how this looks or anything but this very much looks like something i would pick up at a convention that was homemade and we love getting homemade yes. stuff at conventions, but you know, there's something more endearing when you're actually buying something that is homemade versus something that's, you know. Produced. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's the kind of weird part about it. But I mean, it is adorable. You know, I feel like there's a bunch of things that you could use this for. It's just, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like something official. It seems like something crafted. Is that an album? <laughs> no, it says it's a Dobby sock bookmark. Yeah, well, it's just probably actually an old sock. It is a sock. Oh. <laughs> and then you've got a cute little Dobby on the inside. And it says Dobby free. And then you've got your little like tassel at the top to keep an eye on your book. Uh, I don't like how he looks there. He. It's a I, yeah. I, what I he's know. holding looks a little suggestive. I don't know if I want to touch this sock anymore. <laughs> the next item we have is a Niffler fanny pack. <laughs> How cute is that? I mean, it's oh. like in, it's literally like it's in his shape. And then you the put stuff pool. in it. Is a nice cute little gold coin from Gringotts Bank. Okay, so even if you don't use a fanny pack, although uh, pretty sure that riff over at Pixel Game Squad would <laughs> happily use this, 
But this, so cute. this is such a clever idea. If you guys remember from Fantastic Beasts, whenever Niffler would take something, he had his own little like kangaroo pouch, basically that he would tuck it away in. So having this in place of your pouch <laughs> is perfect. That is pretty adorable. That's, that's great. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, the last thing in the box is we have a nice t-shirt. It is a pretty color of purple. Oh, yeah, it is. And it's the Weasleys. Oh, that's pretty nice. And they're kind of like in the card jester form thing there. So I like that. That is a really cool shirt. I do. I really like that that's shirt. That's a very clever design for a shirt. I really enjoy that. And then on the sleeve, you have Weasleys and Weasley. Weasley and Weasley. It's like that a cop drama. That is really drama. pretty. I like it. I like nice. that shirt. Yeah, so the coloring is great. The uh, the design is perfect. Yeah. And the inside? The inside looks like basically an advertisement for the Weasley shop. Pretty cool. Yeah, that works out pretty well. <laughs> yep, pretty cool. Okay, so how do they do with the theme? Uh, I like it. Um, I'm not sure really how mischievous things are. It's not kind of quite the more as thought you put into yeah, it. Yeah, it's not as on par as some of the other ones. I like the items. I mean, Dobby would get up to mischief. I'm not sure how mischievous the book was, other than just if you didn't stroke his spine, <laughs> it would bite you. Usually, they don't try to double up on items. I mean, I love Niffler, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> but having the Niffler pin and then the Niffler fanny pack, fanny pack. as well. Yeah, I I see that. All right, so what about quality of the items? Like for this box as a subscription service box, how did they do there? Um, I think they did a good job because I really feel like the majority of the money was spent on the fanny packs and the shirt. And so then they just kind of wanted to make sure you had some other items in there. I do feel like the money went into the fanny pack and then a little bit into the shirt. I hope that's the case because the other items do seem very, very cheap. Uh, you know, the the sock, it's it's a cute thing, a, a yeah. cute little bookmark and everything, but I mean, that's, that's real, uh, that's a little bit easy to do. We already discussed how the Monster Book of Monsters looks like a crafted item, a homemade item, which would have meant a lot more if we bought it from someone yes. who had handmade it. The pixie glitter, okay, look, it's, it's funny, it's fun, it's clever. It's cheap. I get that they cut out the confetti to look like the pixies <laughs> and everything, but eh, unless you're opening that or looking at it really close, you're not going to notice that. And in all honesty, I feel like we could have thrown just about anything in there with the same sticker and, yeah. and had the same results when it's up on that shelf. Despite that though, this was clever. Yeah. This was very clever. I do really like this box still, though. And this is a great, great shirt. I, I really like this. I'm a little jealous that that's your shirt, oh. honestly. <laughs> you think I don't know how this feels? Well, you don't know how it feels! Well, you seem mostly pleased with this box? Yes. Okay. But there's still one box to go. Yeah, let's so, check her out. What, uh, what do you think? Should, uh, should all of this just kind of be, you know thrown in here he's he's just gonna take everything it's it's his now uh-oh yes sock well, great now dobby ain't got anything. no sock we'll need that <sighs> well there goes all my stuff thanks <laughs> niffler <laughs> you ready to see i'm very this much one? ready to oh, see I know. what's in this one poor thing you have been ridiculously patient i with know it, it's kind of heavy it's a good sign we hopefully got we got Hagrid on here. Oh, with his little hut. That's, yeah. That's a cute sticker. All right, so let's see. Oh, it's right on top this time. Your letter from Hogwarts. Hey, guess what? It's called Hagrid's hut. That's uh, better than Hagrid's butt. Oh. Oh, right. Well, I'll then. <clears throat> I'll just wait outside then. Take a trip across Hogwarts ground to learn the proper care for magical creatures at Hagrid's hut. Any day of the week, happily. <laughs> well, I'd love right. to take care of some magical creatures. I know, me fun. too. That would totally be my job. I would totally be a mazozoologist. All right, we've got something in here. Looks like Hagrid's lantern. We have like just a little glass votive. What's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. So that's kind of cute. I was expecting something to look a little bit more like like a mini version of his lantern. That would have been very I would cool. have preferred that to this. This does have kind of a generic quality to it because, mm -hmm. you know, with the shape of that and everything, 
again. I feel like I've gone to like a gift shop and they've got a Harry Potter section. Yeah, I'm getting that same vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My prediction, because I can't remember if we've gotten it or not yet, but I think it might be Fang. That'd be a good one. That'd be very good. No, it's oh. Hagrid's hat. <laughs> okay then. This is kind of a cute button though, because it very much looks like a child's drawing. It's very colorful, very cartoony. So now we have like a, a magnetic tablety thingy. Or post-it notes, and it's supposed to be Harry's birthday cake. Happy birthday, Harry. Nobody said he could spell well. Uh, well, uh, you know, it might have been slightly off of there because it might he have might sat have on, sat on, on a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty clever, especially with the magnet. You can put it on the fridge and write down, oh, I need to pick this up at the grocery store, or write little notes to your friends or your roommates or your kids or whatever, your parents. That's that's pretty cute. And I like the cleverness of it. That's mm -hmm. a great use. If you're going to do a post-it note, that's nice. Honestly, I think it would have been cuter if they were able to turn that pencil to make it look like the umbrella I or at least have the, exact the umbrella drawn on it or something, yes. like an image printed on it. You guys missed out. I know, you totally You know, did. if you're hiring, you got your idea girl right here. I kind of like Harry Potter a little bit. All right, guys, we got a plushie here. We got a pumpkin plushie. <laughs> How cute is that? It's a squishy. All right, I tell you what, we love the whole fall autumn season. Yes. So if it's a pumpkin or anything like that, I mean, we're going to love it. It does go well with Hagrid's Hut. It does. Um, a little bit generic. No, there's a buck beak on the front of it. Oh. I didn't okay. get there yet. You started talking. <laughs> mm, it's it's still a generic it's, plush It is, I mean, it's very cute though. It does go <laughs> along with it. Very I mean, that cute. is that is cute though. Like I said, as much as we like fall, mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to be Wizarding World related. True. The last thing in the box, oh, it's an apron. Oh, that's awesome. I was like, what is this? So it looks like we have a very cute apron with Buckbeak at the top. Oh my god! And then it says magical creatures and you've got Hedwig and Norbert and Aragog and so we got Wormtail, and Pixies, like that fox, some unicorns, the monster book of monsters. And then on the pocket of the apron, which I love aprons with pockets so that you can have somewhere to put your cooking utensils or whatever. We've got Fluffy, the three headed dog. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> So that is cute. Oh I my love gosh. that. First of all, apron, functional item. Very it's functional. fantastic. It has that nerdy spin on it. Uh, it's got the pocket, like she said, that she loves. And seriously, the artwork for these creatures. It's so cutesy. It's so adorable. I love I, it. I love this. And I don't think you need that apron. I, I might need that apron. Oh, are you going to start using it when you grill out? <laughs> I could. Actually, I don't think I'd want to mess it up. It's so cute. That's true. I do love to wear aprons when I'm cooking because, you know, grease kickback or whatever, but it's like, I don't know if I want to mess this one up. Well, what about the box itself? Box full of magical creatures all over it. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know. With some of the boxes, they have it to where you can flip them inside out. I think I was maybe hoping for like a little Hagrid's hut to build. It would have been fun to have like a paper craft version of Hagrid's hut. I, I agree. I totally agree. I feel like I don't even need to ask about how they did with the theme as far as it being Hagrid's it hut. It really does feel like they stuck very, very well with the theme. I would just honestly say, unless they just spent all their money on the apron, it's very kind of a minimalist box. It really, really is. They're cute and clever things, but it's just kind of very minimalist items and I don't know about how I would go with the quality of the box. Yeah, I, I feel like this is very generic. I get it, Buckbeak's on there, but very generic plush. Mm -hmm. Something that you would have picked up at like any gift shop. Yeah. And it's cute, it's clever. They're post-it notes. Yeah, I mean, you already saw that it kind of, you know, it's come off already just in the packaging alone. Um, I can't imagine that an apron is more expensive than a t-shirt. Yeah, so I wouldn't think kind of, so. So that's kind of weird. We're not missing any items either. Nerdlings, let us know. What did you think of this very minimalist box? Um, how did they do 
with the items in your opinion. You've got a pretty good idea of how we feel with everything here, but please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, you know, if, if you need to make a note of it, well, tough, the post-its are here, so you might as well do that stuff right now. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if maybe the pumpkin were bigger, I would be more okay with the box. Probably. Honestly. Probably. Anyway, nerdlings, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go check out our merchandise on Tee Public. Go over to the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. For cute pumpkins. Hey, love you, pumpkin. Aww. Oh, and you're all right, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> George McFly was a Slytherin. Fun fact. Is that true? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right.